And uh, how old are you? I'm 35. You're 35? Yep. And um, you are based in Vancouver, is that right? Yep, yep. yep. And you're from Edmonton? Oh, um, yes. Okay, great. Um, so just, just to start, did you grow up in Edmonton? Yeah, I grew up in Edmonton. Um, so tell me a little bit about like growing up in Edmonton um, in the context of like your family and what that was like. Um, okay, yeah. So growing up in Edmonton was, I have my whole family there, so it's a pretty big family, a pretty mm -hmm. big Indian family. Um, and uh, in terms of growing up, my parents are pretty liberal comparative, comparative to my cousins around me and maybe some of the larger community around me. But I still had the struggles of like still having to conform to like what their um, expectations were around being Indian wise, and then mm -hmm. also also you know being accomplished at school and stuff like that. So for sure. So what do you mean so, by um, conforming to their expectations? Yeah, so I would say conforming to expectations mostly look like you know some of the struggles I would um, encounter with my mom more so than my dad was that. Mm -hmm. Uh, was that, you know, why don't I have more Indian friends? Why don't I um, do more Indian things? Um, she did, I used to be in, like, dance and cheerleading. She used to get upset by that, like, do it secretly. Mm -hmm. um, and just being more involved with the community versus just, like, allowing me to just kind of live according to just being a human being. Mm -hmm. Like, follow your own interests. Yeah, yeah. And um, do you have any siblings? Do you have a sibling? How I have a younger sister, yeah. Um, and how much younger is she to you? Uh, four and a half years younger. Um, that's the exact uh, difference between me and my sister. It's funny. Um, and, oh, really? Oh. Yeah. It's like four and a half. It's like a weird. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so tell me a little bit about growing up. Like, what was your dad like growing up? Uh, my dad was always... Uh, he's really good in terms of like my dad came from India and then like came to Canada and got educated in Canada and so he was um, you know went to the university there and like we educated himself to do computer work oh my god mm -hmm. I kind of believe it computer sciences or something mm -hmm. and um, he was you know I would say out of most dads like people see him as pretty like you know fair with a lot of integrity um, and people who would often go to advice for him. So he's someone I actually spent a lot of time talking to uh, and was trying really hard to be, like, constantly, you know, close to him in terms of, like, I would say I would say he was the person that I was the closest to in the family. Mm -hmm. And um, what was kind of... How would you, um, I guess, characterize the importance of family, you know, both to you personally, but also from the perspective of, of being Indian, what that all means? Um, from, from the perspective of me personally, like my perspective on family in general? Mm -hmm. Just in terms of how important it is for you to be close to your family or like... Oh, family yeah, family yeah. Family. It was, you know, growing up, it's always been really, it's been really important to me because they're kind of my anchor, especially my dad was my anchor, I would say. Um, you know, you kind of go into the world, you have ideas, and I'm kind of a naturally like a curious person and was a curious kid and, you know, always wanted to bounce my ideas off of somebody. So it was always, you know, somebody to anchor to or somewhere to feel mostly safe. Um, and then in terms of the Indian family, uh, I really... Like, as much as I had a big family, I can't say I really felt connected into mm -hmm. that big family. I always felt a little bit different, separate, um, because my ideals, like, were always different in terms mm -hmm. of coming from a Punjabi family, you know, um, they they practice the Sikh religion. So you'd go to the Gurdwara and you'd listen to the sermons about, like, how great the gurus were to all these people of different castes. But then within the culture, there's this caste system that is really confusing in terms of like how they how someone can go to church and listen to that and then practice something different in the culture so within the context of the family i always felt like i don't get this is what my i don't get what you guys are doing um that was really that, something. like a little bit more in terms of like why was the caste system confusing to you like in terms of like where was the dissonance between what you were hearing you know at the gurdwara and like what you were experiencing 